The earliest Decepticon members were gladiators such as Blackout, Lugnut, Drixco, and Barricade. Shockwave was a scientist who joined the Decepticons and served as Megatron's chief scientist and one of his many second-in-commands. Soundwave and his Minicon deployers Laserbeak, Ravage, Rumble and Frenzy were also among the first modern Decepticons. During the war breakdown, Knockout, Arachnid, Makeshift, Headstrong, Rampage, Tantrum and many others all joined the faction. Axer left Cybertron shortly after Orion Pax was said to be a prime by the High Council but sort of joined them when the Nemesis arrived at Junkion. For the war's early years, Starscream had close associations with the Decepticons but did not officially join them. He spent most of his time on the Trypticon station or one of the moon bases with his army of loyal seekers keeping an eye on the Dark Energon stored there. He did not fully commit to their ranks until Megatron led an attack on his neutral forces on the Trypticon station to get the Dark Energon during the events of Transformers, War for Cybertron. Trypticon was also given life by Shockwave shortly after, and Starscream was later promoted to the position of second-in-command of all Decepticon forces. Ratbat and Contrail joined the Decepticons when the High Council nominated Orion Pax as the next Prime. The Combaticons and Constructicons were built before the war for Cybertron events. The Insecticons joined the Decepticons during Transformers, Rise of the Dark Spark, sometime before Transformers, Fall of Cybertron. As mentioned above, the later Decepticons of the post-war era on Cybertron and ultimately in the universe appeared to be simply composed of common crooks and thugs rather than disciplined and well-trained warriors.